Trige Brothers. And incidentally, coverage of play in the doubles championships is on BBC Two this afternoon, beginning at 3.50. But back to Pebble Minute One, and Donna makes a welcome return to the programme with two songs from her latest album, and viewers will be given a layman's guide to the new Sale of Goods Act. That's in Pebble Minute One. But now, at 12.30, it's News Afternoon with Richard Whitmore and Fern Britton. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. Friday's headlines. Water workers have rejected their 4% pay offer and voted for industrial action. The Danish trawler skipper, Captain Kirk, appears in court this afternoon, charged with fishing inside Britain's 12-mile limit. And after the police drowning tragedy, the Blackpool coroner has called for an independent report on the resort's life-saving equipment. The Social Democrats talk about their plans for negotiating, not wishing nuclear weapons away. As we see Australia recapture the ashes, we look at the idea of a photo finish for some of those doubtful umpires' decisions and the unposh happenings when the top people shop cut prices by half this morning. First, though, we are getting reports in now that Britain's water workers have overwhelmingly rejected a 4% pay offer and voted to take industrial action. Now for the main points of the news again, with subtitles for the hard of hearing. Britain's 30,000 water and sewerage workers have voted by 4 to 1 to reject a 4% pay offer. They've also voted to take industrial action in support of their 15% pay claim. It's thought that the unions will have further negotiations with the Water Council and ACAS. The conciliation service may step into the dispute. The Danish trawler skipper, Captain Kent Kirk, is due to appear in court in Tynemouth today. Captain Kirk is facing a charge alleging contravention of Britain's 12-mile fishing limit. He says he plans to plead not guilty to the charge because he says the British law is illegal. The Social Democratic Party have formally published their proposed policy on defence today. In it, they have put forward the idea of a nuclear-free battle zone in Central Europe, and they say they would keep the nuclear submarine missile Polaris, but would cancel its successor, Trident. And that's it at the end of another week. Jan Leeming will be here with the early evening news at 5.40. Fern and I will be back at 12.30 on Monday for another week of News Afternoon. Have a pleasant weekend. Thank you.